Hello everyone, this is going to be another settings video for the G29, the Logitech. And this is going to be for Assetto Corsa. Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know. Assetto Corsa? Assetto? Assetto? I don't, I don't know. I'm not Italian. I don't know. Um, this one is a little bit... It's took me a while compared to the other settings videos that I've done and what I'm going to do in the future. A lot of them are relatively simple. I take a little bit of getting used to and you might have to practice a few cars and go through, you know, go through the motions like you do with a wheel. This one took a little bit more stuff um, but it does work it works really really well so this is going to be an explanation kind of of um, LUT generation using wheel check so first thing you want to do is all the links are in the description um, to help you out um, it produces a lookup table what we're doing it produces a lookup table for this specific wheel the wheel you've got so if you go into a set of Corsa and you go to options, and it's really good. You go to controls, and then you can just oh look configurations. Oh brilliant, Logitech G29 shifter, no shifter, H shifter. Oh brilliant, excellent. Click, and then you and you're driving it, and it's like this doesn't feel quite right. Something feels a little bit dodgy, and the reason is because the force feedback isn't quite set up right. Um, so what you want to do is go into your a set of course there, Click which one you have, whether you have a shifter or not, I have a shifter. Now I've done this and I don't want to mess it up, so I'm not touching anything, but I will take you through the steps to do it. Um, minimum force, zero. These curb effect, road effect, slip effect, ABS effect, these can be changed to your preference. Um, look them up to see what they are. It's basically just rumble effects, curb and road. Uh, slip effects and ABS effects are a little bit more complicated. Leave these off, don't invert, and leave gain to 100%, and then don't touch gain after. Filter I've got to 26%, I've forgotten what filter, oh there you go, removes force feedback spikes. 26%? I don't know, it works for me, I don't know. Main controls, again, I don't have a handbrake, you know, a proper handbrake thing, so. Um, but I have the clutch and the brakes all set up, and they should, no, they're still working, cool. Um, so do that, leave that, combine with keyboard input, I like that because then you can turn on the lights and do stuff uh, with the keyboard as well. So now, I want to get out of a set of Corsa. We want to download wheel check, the link's in description, and we want to run wheel check. So we go to downloads, you have to, it's a, you have to unzip it, it's a zipped program. And then if I can bring that down, you want to pick which one you've got. There's only one because I've only got one thing made in. And then you want to go down to step log to linear force test. And you want to then, once you've clicked on that, as the description can see, as you can see in this, which is, I'll put the links in. I didn't come up with any of this. This is all just from the internet, but I know videos help a lot of people compared to reading big scrolls of writing. Um, max count 50. Put it in 50. It worked for me. It was fine. Um, and then the wheel will start doing stuff. It'll start going d -d 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 by itself, uh, making horrible noises. And then it'll stop. And it won't, this... Uh, wheel check won't won't say it's done won't say it's finished won't say where it's put anything what you then have to do is close that and go to your documents folder so my documents in normal this pc documents and there'll be a, a um, spreadsheet file right at the bottom here and it'll be numbered and called something stupid what you want to do then is download the look generator which again is here on this there it is. Um, and that'll look like this. Again, extract it. And it'll be this. Very simple. And what you do is you click that and you click open. So you go to your documents, go straight down to the bottom, you'll find the C CSV file, which is like an Excel spreadsheet. Click open and it'll convert it into an LUT file. You then want to go back to your documents, take that LUT file and put it in. So Documents, set a Corsa, CFG, and you want to put it in here. And I've retitled mine called My LUT, My LUT, My Lookup Table. And there it is. That's not the last thing you need to do. Then you need to go into FF Post Process, and you need to change it to look like this. So you want the LUT curve, and you want it to point to what it is. So, L oh, I haven't got my cursor on. Oh, I've been pointing at things with my cursor, and I haven't got my cursor on. Hopefully you can still see what I'm pointing at and what I'm getting at. Um, so let's start from the top then. Header, version 1, type LUT enabled 1. Gamma, you want to be 0.5 value. And then LUT curve, 
equals my LUT dot LUT, which is what you've called it, which is here. Very nice. And then you think, ooh, is that it? And yeah, that's pretty much it. I put another, I put a Reddit um, thread in here as well, which goes through pretty much everything, and it does a really good job. But that is basically it. Once you've done that, it kind of works. So let's go back into here. Let's go. You're not going to let me do that. Um, I, I, in terms of controls, I basically left everything else the same. Uh, so, and then save it as something. I saved it as Alex G2 G29. Um, you're going to let me go big screen? There we go, big screen, cool. So, then you want to test it. And I know you might be thinking, how do I know? Well, I go to practice. I select a car that I'm used to. Um, it sounds a bit odd, but the Audi S1, I drive an Audi A2. And through some odd, you know, mental gymnastics, <laughs> I know how to drive an Audi S1. I drive an Audi A2, which is like the fuel efficient, shitty family car version of the A1, and the S1 is the version, the sports version of the A1. So by like, as close as, as, close as I'm going to get. Then pick a, a track that you're relatively familiar with. It doesn't really matter. I like Silverstone 1967 just because it's um, fun. Assists, I have them all off, basically. Uh, just because it, it feels better. Sometimes the assists can kind of fuck you up. And immediately, uh, literally immediately, from doing this, it was like a like a different wheel. It felt completely different. It was, um, oh, no, it should still work. I hate that Assetto Course or AC or whatever you call it. It has two programs, doesn't it? it has the launcher and then it goes into the game. So when you're doing, trying to capture stuff, it's not, not entirely happy about it. Let me try. Oh, weird, it doesn't even think it's there. Oh, hello. Hey. Hey, right. Um, I don't have my sound on, so I can't hear the gears, but there you go. I think it's working. Nope. <laughs> anyway, if this was capturing it, let's try game capture. Oh, this is a perfect, perf this is a perfect introduction to... <laughs> how, how things can seem perfect. There we go. It's a funny, it's, that's, that's a strange, that's strange. Anyway, it works, it works nice. Um, like I said, I can't hear the gears, but the force feedback feels right. That lookup table obviously needs, the game needs to know what wheel you're using. And despite it having the settings pre-made, it just doesn't, it doesn't feel right in the normal setting. So I don't know how it works, but I know that it does. And um, although I don't drive, Oh, no. Oh, I don't drive an S1 in real life. Oh, God. Uh, and for obvious reasons, because I would kill myself. Um, when, playing the, when playing the game, it feels, it feels good. Uh, despite not being able to drive properly. Anyway, hope that helps. Like I said, links are all in the description. And um, despite me being a terrible driver... Maybe you can, maybe you can get it better. And if you've got any settings that you like and you prefer, um, put them in the comments and tell me about them. Say, oh, you, you know, if you see something. Like I said, I'm getting, still getting used to this. These settings videos are just as much for me as for other people. So yeah, tell me if you like it, um, and um, tell me what I should change and how, my driving technique, <laughs> which is awful. Um, yeah. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, catch me on streams and the backups on YouTube. Thanks a lot. Bye.